Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss ethics with respect to science and research. This is part of research and publication ethics. This is RPE, um, which is one of the mandatory coursework subject for PhD scholar who have registered from 2020 onwards. And this is a uh, two credit coursework, this uh, research and publication ethics. And I have uh, discussed two uh, uh, two component of that uh, which I have kept in the I button. You can go through it. So let's start. When we're talking about ethics, uh, particular to the science and uh, you know uh, this uh, uh, like let's say in research. And uh, so we need to understand the principle for ethical conduct in research. If we uh, discuss on this particular component then we can able to understand more on the ethical component towards science and research so uh, the first thing that we need to understand is about uh, honesty you know when we talk about any research the scientists should uh, have uh, you know uh, should should do the, their work or their research work in in an honest manner and they should not go for a kind of fabrication or falsification or misinterpretation of data which might uh, result in uh, scientific misconduct so this should be a kind of objective in their uh, in the process of uh, designing or developing uh, any kind of you know research work or it should not be unbiased and there should not be any kind of uh, thing which uh, which lead to misconduct again uh, carefulness this is again another component in many of the cases we have seen due to human error or due to some experimental error or let's say it is not calibrated or you know you have not um, uh, prepared uh, the thing which uh, need to be done before experimentation like uh, pre-processing of the thing and all then those uh, you know minimal experimental methodological error or human error need to be avoided or let's say the biasness and the conflict of interest all all sort of thing need to be avoided when we talk about carefulness so this is where uh, the scientists should be aware of uh, how how they should be presenting their result avoiding this minimal kind of error which which might lead to you know falsification of data unknowingly so again openness this is another component here also uh, we need to understand scientists should share the data result methods or let's say technique or tools whatever they are using so that you know whenever the readers or the researcher will uh, go through their work they should able to reproduce that work and there should be a platform to give uh, kind of suggestion or let's say uh, kind of criticism if there is something wrong in it or there is a scope of improvisation so if the data is available then those sort of thing can be done then freedom uh, so scientists should be free to conduct you know conduct research on any kind of problem or let's say hypothesis and they should be allowed to pursue the new ideas and criticize the old ones so this is another uh, aspect of uh, let's say ethical conduct of research taking uh, to the next uh, um, component where you can say whenever uh, you know you are doing some work the credit kind of division or, or you have to give due credit if somebody is uh, have or you know contributed something to his or have taken the responsibility for that one so giving credit or not giving credit that also we have to see this is uh, something like two side of the same coin so that we have to take into consideration then education when we talk about all sort of thing then uh, the education is very important component where there should be kind of a platform or let's say like the, the scientists they should educate the prospective you know, scientist or their young uh, colleagues or scientists who or the upcoming scientists uh, in the process of how to conduct good uh, research or, or unethical uh, you know uh, how to avoid unethical kind of research or, or to avoid uh, misconduct kind of thing and scientists should educate and inform the public about the science moreover then the social responsibility also comes into play 
this uh, along with all this component that we've been talking about where the scientists should avoid causing harm to the society and there should be some attempt uh, so that you know they should be able to contribute something to the society if some some research is going on the ultimate objective or one of the objective let's say has has to be some contribution to the society and scientists have an obligation to conduct socially available research to participate in, in, in a kind of you know public debate or to give expert you know testimony or let's say if they are asked to give and in the process of uh, making or formulating policy or let's say removing junk science uh, uh, from uh, from the existing or or removing the kind of thing which are repeatedly coming and there is nothing new to it so all this responsibility is again uh, another you know ethical component which which lies uh, in in this and then legality also comes into play in this process of research scientists should uh, obey uh, the laws you know which is being framed uh, let's say if we take a case of uh, Indian researcher then we have to follow the UGC regulation which are there we'll be discussing on this regulation uh, you know uh, so within that frame how they should able to operate or what are the component of it in that pro there are different aspect to it again like when we're talking about um, medical research or somewhere there is you know uh, drug substan uh, substances or let's say uh, hazardous substances are there then using of some kind of uh, technique or method on human or animal or let's say some uh, uh, you are inducing something to human or animal then you have to take ethical uh, you know permission before conducting conducting that particular research and disposal of waste uh, again by bio biomedical kind of waste in proper uh, form and then uh, let's say approaching for kind of funding external funding then uh, there are copyright patent all this thing legal uh, that uh, falls under legality then we have uh, again uh, the opportunity it uh, this is another component scientists should have should not be unfairly you know denied uh, the opportunity to use uh, the scientific resources or the or let's say advances in the scientific uh, profession and scientists should not discriminate against uh, you know against themselves you know if they are working in a group or with their colleague or respective colleague on basis of uh, let's say race sex a national reason or some kind of nationality you know all these things so uh, and other characteristic if uh, that are not directly related to the scientific uh, competence so they they have uh, to obey or they have to do a unfair justice when they talk about or they go for some kind of uh, uh, teamwork of research and they they are into some kind of uh, social responsibility so those sort of thing they have to uh, keep it in mind and they have to approach then other component are like mutual respect like when we talk about uh, this so this may not harm one another and uh, either physically or psychologically and they should respect uh, the kind of personal privacy if, they, um, and if somebody want uh, to have that and they should not uh, temper with each other experimental result and uh, so forth so this is where you know scientists should use uh, uh, when we talk about efficiency also there are different resources around them and they will be using it so efficiently using the resources is another component if let's say uh, if they have conducted a work and they thought of dividing to multiple uh, let's say segment for multiple uh, paper publication so that is where the saliva and slicing comes into play this they, they should not be you know doing unethical work uh, in order to waste uh, like scientific community time because the work has been done and that done in a one set of frame <clears throat> and if they divide it into multiple let's say framework and go for publication in that process uh, this result which has to uh, come to the uh, public you know forum within a short period of time that you know could have been delayed due to this saliva slicing so that 
they have to acquire then respect for subject that also you know <clears throat> scientists should not violate right or let's say dignity when they are using let's say human subject in experimentation and scientists should not treat non-human or animal subject with, uh, with uh, appropriate uh, respect and uh, they should treat actually and they should uh, not do unethical uh, kind of uh, experimentation or what I have already said is without taking any kind of prior um, permission to perform the experimentation. So ethical permission has to be taken and uh, for those subjects which, uh, which are uh, ethically permitted to perform on. So that we have to take into consideration. So these are the component when we talk about uh, the ethical component uh, in science and research and uh, the principle basically and uh, that we have to take into consideration. So thank you for watching and please do share uh, if you like this particular video among your colleague and if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.